Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks. The HTC One M8 was definitely one of the most exciting smartphones of 2014. And now we're in downtown Taipei at another HTC event, finally taking a look at the brand new HTC One E8, which is a little bit of the entry-level version of their flagship phone. So it doesn't come with this nice metal uh, unibody. So this is all plastic, but besides that, this is a really, really interesting device. This is based on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 801, which means this is a um, quad core um, clock at 2.5 gigahertz. Of course, it's also running HTC Blink Feed, as you can tell, and uh, it comes with 2 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and you can upgrade this with a micro SD card. Um, when it comes to the weight and the size, um, it's slightly lighter than the HTC One M8 over here because this fella weighs 160 grams, while the E8 comes in at 145 grams, but it's also also slightly thicker. This is 9.85 millimeters, while the HTC One M8 came in at 9.4 millimeters. Besides that, there are also some differences when it comes to the cameras. So we don't have these dual lenses here on the back, so you won't be able to do this 3D effect. But uh, instead of using this 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera technology, they went back to the same camera of the HTC Desire 8116, which is a 13 megapixel one. And it also sports a five megapixel camera on the front. So if you're interested into selfies, that's definitely a pretty cool device. Let's take a quick look around the device. Well, first of all, what you notice on the front, still has these front-facing speakers that HTC is very well known for. On the bottom, we have a connector for your headset, which is kind of unusual because all the other devices are sporting the check for the headset on the top, a micro USB connected to which charge it, and over here is, I guess, that's where the SIM card goes, and uh, or maybe it's exactly on the other side, SIM card and micro SD card. So we have a volume rocker here on the right side, and we have the power button on the top. What I kind of like, so we have this black version over here, is, um, can you see this kind of golden ring around this lens and around the LED flasher? It looks really pretty cool. I told you already, HTC One, or the HTC Boom Sound, and of course, this will also come, hopefully, um, with LTE, as far as I know, over here in Taiwan, because we're just rolling out LTE into the country. It's starting with 4G LTE, and of course, then also 3G. Um, let's take a quick look at which Android version is installed on here. That's always a little bit of a challenge for me, because it's all in Chinese. Here we go. So it should be this one. Nope, almost. So it's running on KitKat 4.4.2 and it sports HTC Sense 6.0. Can't tell you anything about the price right now, but if you're already a fan of the HTC One M8 and it might be a little bit um, too expensive for you, and you're also not a huge fan of the Ultra Pixel technology of the HTC One M8, I think the HTC One E8 is definitely an inexpensive um, yeah, alternative for this amazing flagship device that HTC has been rolling out this year. So this is a quick comparison of first hands-on of the new HTC One E8 with the HTC One M8 and Sasha for Mobile Geeks. If you have any questions, just leave them down here. Thanks for watching.